pandas. When you typically think about pandas, you think about what? This cute little fluffy, like little teddy bear of an animal who's just incredible and beautiful and sweet and just cuddly. And you just, they look like living teddy bears, right? Except there's another kind of pandas that is anything but kind and sweet and certainly not cute. PANDAS also stands for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorder Disorder Associated with Streptococcus. So PANDAS, and there's actually another term called PANS, which is basically a generalized uh, term that is associated with any kind of infection, is basically where the body's immune system goes completely nuts when it reacts and sees strep. So in these cases, what happens is the kids are fine. They're totally fine. They're they're 100% fine. They're learning fine. They're happy. They're balanced. I mean, it, it's they're they're healthy. And then boom, they get a throat infection. And somewhere between a few days to a few months, they just go nuts. And literally, that's the best way to describe them. They are just going completely nuts. The kid that was healthy, and a lot of parents are like, it was like it was like a switch went off. My kid just all of a sudden was lost and they went from the healthy, healthy kid to the kid that is now going completely bonkers. And one of the telltale signs of pandas and pans and all of these neuropsychiatric inflammatory conditions is that these kids are explosive. They're not just a little anxious. They're not just a little OCD. They're literally exploding out of their own heads. That is how bad it is. These kids have weird tics. They have weird seizure-like activities, explosions. They can't control themselves. They're aggressive. They start attacking parents. They start attacking siblings. Sometimes they attack other kids at school. And your kid may have someone that is in their school. You're just like, what is going on with that kid? They may have an inflammatory condition. These things, kids just don't act evil. They don't act aggressive just because. That is not in the nature of kids. I mean, there there are very small, very, 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 very small percentage of kids that are just, you know, not kind to human beings. I would say that very small minority aside, most kids want to be good. Most kids want to be sweet. Most kids want to be social. Most kids want friends. Most kids want to be kind. And when they're not, it's because something is happening. And if we can keep our eyes and ears open to these things, we can actually help these kids. Because the sad part is when these kids, when these things are not addressed, when these things are not found, these kids come to be come to think of themselves as bad. And I've seen the kids who have had this for two to three years. And they ask me like, do you think I'm bad? Do you think I'm evil is what they're asking me. These kids don't want to be aggressive. They don't want to be impulsive. They don't want to explode. They don't want to be dysregulated, but they can't control it. And what's really sad is with a lot of these kids, when you talk to the parents, it's like the kids have these rage episodes and then they go to the mom. The older ones are like, mom, I don't know what happened. I'm I'm sorry. They're they're regretful over how they act at school. They really don't want to be that way, but they can't control themselves. Why? Because their immune systems are going completely haywire. Their immune systems are literally attacking their brain cells. And that attack is causing the entire brain to become inflamed. And that inflammation causes these kids to explode. Fortunately, there's something we can do for this. We can treat the strep. You can use antibiotics. There there are immune therapies like IVIG that can help. There are herbs. And I'm sure some of you have heard of Dr. Elisa Song talk about this. She, She was talking about this well before I. There are things we can do to help these kids. And there are actually people who specialize in helping these kids. And when you find the right treatment, it is amazing. Within sometimes weeks, the kid that was losing their mind is now grounded and normal. The kid that couldn't regulate can now regulate. The kid that couldn't socialize and was about to get kicked out of school is now the model student. These things are possible if we understand how to help these kids. Unfortunately, one of the things that I see is that what we think is always pandas is actually oftentimes something else. So these kids can also be affected by Lyme. I've seen a ton, a ton of cases of mold 
within the family's home. So the kids that were getting antibiotics actually had mold. There are other things that could be causing this, but if a family sees this in their child, they're like, oh my God, yeah, that's my kid. My kid is exploding out of their mind. Find someone that knows how to offer these treatments. And there's a lot of docs out there. There's a lot of docs, fortunately, out there that know how to deal with this. And if you type in PANS, PANDAS, there's actually a network of physicians. There are very competent people out there. You just need to know that this thing exists. And you also know need to know that how it looks and who to go find. Now, how real is this? Because this is something you may be asking yourself, like, how real is this? Like, is this something that Dr. K is just making up? It's real enough that the federal government actually created a branch within the Institutes of Health, the NIH, to actually look at this and study it and bring it, bring it out into the public. Stanford has a department on this. It's that real. These, these things are happening. We just don't know how to see them yet. So please share this message. Let's get this information out there. Let's make sure that this is something that is in everyone's awareness. Fortunately, it is rare. Hopefully, it never happens to your kid or anyone that you know. But you know what? When it does happen, it is tragic. And if enough people know that this exists, when they see it, hopefully you can go to the parent and say, hey, you know what? I heard that this thing is out there. Why don't you go do a search for pans and pandas? and see what you find. Thanks for listening. This is Dr. K. Let's work, make the world a better place for all the kids out there.